Hey guys, it's me and welcome to another edition of the vlog. Whitney watches Agent Carter, episode 1.07, Snafu. Now, um, I talk a lot about how much I love the episode titles of this show, and uh, this one is definitely another one I loved. Um, Snafu is actually a military acronym, <laughs> um, believe it or not. Um, it stands for a situation normal, all fucked up. I could have cleaned that up, but let's, let's, this was pretty fucked up. This episode was quite the roller coaster. It started with Peggy in custody and it ended, oh boy, did it end. Okay, so in this last episode, in my last video, um, I had made a sweeping statement that I thought that the Battle of Finale was somehow linked to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I was immediately corrected that because it was pointed out that in Agent, I'm um, sorry, in Agent Carter, they had said that at the Battle of Finale that everyone was torn apart. And obviously that does not describe what the um, Diviner does. It seems clear now that it was probably item 17, that it was dispersed over this field, that they were torn to pieces when Howard saw it. He was extremely distraught because clearly it didn't do whatever it was supposed to do when he came back a changed man. Because if we saw how much damage a bunch of people in a closed movie theater could do to each other, civilians, it's not hard that hard of a stretch to think that a bunch of trained soldiers could actually have just totally torn each other apart when going bonkers. Um, so question, do we think that any of Howard's inventions actually ever work the way that they're supposed to? I mean, was Steve the big fluke? Because here we had a back scratcher that works more like a taser-ish, whatever, I don't know, muscle scary thing. Um, there's the the vest that wound up basically becoming a suicide bomber jacket. I, it, I... Howard Stark, not that competent. So there were some really interesting moments, um... Obviously, uh, mostly with Peggy's interrogation, because we kind of got to see how everyone now reacts to her. Um, Dooley treated her as an enemy of whatever. Thompson was actually the one taking the good cop routine more than anything, because I think out of all of it, he was having a hard time reconciling the woman that had saved his life in Russia with the woman that they were saying she was. On the other hand, Sousa had gone full nice guy, and now that Peggy had turned out to be not what he thought... He was like, you whore. And um, that's pretty typical. No, believe it or not, guys. If you, I mean, I'm pretty sure most women are going, yeah, that's pretty typical. A lot of men, when they find out that you aren't what they think you were, they immediately go to the worst. Like, you can't just accept that you were wrong in your assessment of someone. Immediately, it has to be like, this person has to be like Hitler. And, um, or this woman has to be Hitler. So, um, yeah, happens a lot. Dooley, man, that was really tough to watch. Dr. Evchenko is clearly good at what he does, but it was difficult to watch, especially in that last part when it looked like Dooley was at home. We, it was clear that he wasn't. And it was terrifying to see what that whole process, him accepting that he was going to die, you know, the fact that his last things were to Peggy telling her her, not Thompson, not, not the room at large. He was telling her to find who did this. And he even gave her an Atta girl before jumping out the window. Um, we got to see Sousa fight. He survived. Um, I did think it was interesting that in the elevator, you know, Thompson and Sousa, they're discussing what to do. Thompson tells Sousa to be careful. He assumes that it's the usual dig, like he's not that great of an agent because you know, of his disability, and no, it's because Thompson had seen the little girl kill members of their team and um, kill a howling commando, and so he knew that obviously Dottie as an adult would be so much more dangerous. Really great stunts for Dottie, by the way. That was her uh, doing the parkour down the the stairwell was pretty amazing. I'm not really ready to let go of this show yet. I'm not. And it makes me, makes me really sad. Um, is there anything I missed? Let me know. I mean, obviously I didn't have that much to talk about where we're going because we only have one more episode. And I didn't have that much to really talk about 
what happened because you know, it was sad and Peggy and the, them accusing her of killing Kerminsky. You could just see how hurt she was that that, that is what that they would think she did. Um, that she could handle being accused of being a traitor, but that was just unforgivable. Um, I did like that they had all of the banter between Peggy and Jarvis because really you needed that to kind of cut through the seriousness of this episode because it was, it was tough. Um, but no, I think that's it. Really, I think I do. Just let me know. Um, leave comments. I like to hear what you think. Um, you can find me all over the internet. Please subscribe to my YouTube videos. Um, I will be posting other videos. Um, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Whitney D. I have a website. It's WhitneyDrake.com. Um, I have a Facebook page. It is Geek Pirate Mom. I also have a Tumblr, which is Winged Kiari. Um, it's generally not safe for work, but I do talk to Agent Carter and share photo sets and stuff like that. Anyways, have a great week. Um, next week, I'm probably going to be really sad in the video because that's it for now. But I did think it was very sweet that um, when talking about the show, ABC said that next week was the season finale. They didn't say series finale, season finale. So there's always hope. Anyways, have a great week.